it's Adrian Bo here, standing against the lunacy known as cancel culture and bringing to you another piece of our beautiful history in the Coogee Ramwick community. I'm outside today, number 155 Dolphin Street in Coogee. A hundred years ago, in 1920, a local couple, Bridget and William Stones, opened the Stones Milk Bar on this particular site behind me. Bridget was born in Liverpool in the United Kingdom and was considered a formidable lady by the locals. Local kids would call her mum and she was known to open a packet of cigarettes and sell them for three pence each back when society had no idea of the health consequences of smoking. Now Stone's Milk Bar became famous all over Sydney for its milkshakes and fruit cocktails, but particularly for its live entertainment on Sundays, where amateur singers would showcase their talent. The Australian Idol of the era, if you like, and it's not a coincidence now that the Coogee Palace or the Coogee Pavilion now does something similar a hundred years down the track. In fact, as a small venue, this particular site launched many singing careers, including Nessie Small, Tessie Hamilton and Richard Gray. Now, during the Second World War, Stone's Milk Bar was packed with American servicemen. An amazing piece of history in particular is that Prince Philip was known to have been a customer here as a young bachelor naval officer. That's amazing. Now, when Bridget Stone's passed away in 1948, the business was sold and turned into Teen Cabaret and Stones Cabaret, hosting rock and roll bands. This was quite controversial at the time as the local area was quite conservative back in the 50s. How things have changed in the Coogee Precinct now. Johnny O'Keefe was born in Bondi Junction and was also an old Waverley College boy, same as myself, and I still remember hearing the tales of how Johnny O'Keefe was such a cheeky and quite a uh, interesting character, an eccentric character through the ranks and the eras and generations of Waverley College. And he became the first Aussie rock and roll performer to make it big in the USA. He did his first gig with his band, the DJs, at the Stones Cabaret here behind me back in 1956. The gig, unfortunately, began but didn't end too well because it erupted into a massive brawl. Now eventually the bar closed in 1967 and was reopened as a Hungarian restaurant then in 1978. It turned into the Kuji Comedy Theatre restaurant and once became a venue for live acts. Eventually this little pocket of Kuji history was demolished and replaced with the apartment building that's now behind me being 155 Dolphin Street. However, a recent social media campaign by a guy named Little Bobby has led the Ramwick City Council erecting a plaque to relate a summary of his history to avoid it being forgotten. So that's a really good initiative there by Ramwick City Council and also by that particular chap named Little Bobby. Now over my 31 years in selling in Coogee, I've helped transact hundreds of properties on Dolphin Street and the surrounding areas, both as an auctioneer, as an agent. Now, two properties I recently recall selling are apartment at 88 Dolphin Street and an apartment at 97 Dolphin Street. Also, I've been very fortunate enough to actually sell two apartments at 155 Dolphin Street, which is the site in discussion today being apartments two and apartment seven on multiple occasions. Now in total there are 254 units and 26 houses on Dolphin Street. 30% being owner occupied, 70% rented. Interesting anecdote there just given the interest in rental accommodation being such close proximity to the beach here on Dolphin Street. Now the average owner occupier has lived here for just over five years. So that's quite a transient population given the average for surrounding streets and suburbs would be double that around 10 years. Now, I hope this has been of interest to you. And again, I'm really standing against cancel culture. It's a misnomer and it's really out of respect to people that have fought for us all over the world to bring us here where we are 200 years later as a great country enjoying the beautiful lifestyle that we do. 
Please enjoy the spring in Coogee and don't forget, your home is worth more with Adrian Bowe.